Yo, what's going on? Brandon America here again, and thank you for tuning in again. Today, I'm going to show you a quick tip in Logic Pro X on how to quantize audio. So let's dive right in. Okay, so if you look on my screen here, I have a quick little four bar drum loop that um, sounds pretty good, but I think we can adjust the snare hits to uh, be timed up just a little bit better. So you can apply this to drums and vocals and a lot of other things, but what we're gonna do today is use this drum sample. So it sounds like this. Oops, not like that. So as you hear, it sounds like the snare is a little behind. So it should be hitting a little sooner, okay? So what we're gonna do, there's a couple different ways that we can approach this. One of the quick and easy ways is to highlight your region. Come over to the left side of your inspector window here. And if this isn't open, you can just select these little arrows that'll drop it down. And one of the things we can do is actually quantize this audio from this region over here. But before we do that, we need to turn on the flex pitch and flex time button, which is this little bow tie right here. Uh, you can also hit command F for the quick key. And uh, basically, since they're drums, we're going to select rhythm. It was already on there, but sometimes it'll select slicing or automatic or something. And if it sounds kind of funny, just try to use the best algorithm that you think um, would work best for. If it's a chords and a lot of different things happening at once, polyphonic would probably be better for a vocal or maybe like a bass line, monophonic, maybe better. In this case, we're going to use rhythmic and... Um, you see it creates all of these transient markers that show you kind of where everything's at. So what we can do is uh, if it's not already set, I must have had mine set already. But usually what you'll see is it'll say quantize over here. Without the bow tie selected, you'll notice it goes away. So you need to have this little button selected and it will bring up all these transient regions where everything's hitting on and it'll allow you to quantize. So selecting there, we're going to try a 16th note and hit play and see what that sounds like. Okay. Okay, so I think it actually sounds a lot better, but there are a couple parts in there that are kind of uh, stretched out, it feels like, and it's kind of making a little bit of the drum sample sound funny. So another way that we can go in here and do a little bit more specific flex time uh, is we can turn off the quantize over here in the left side of the window and you notice everything kind of goes back to the blue when you see the gray that means it's stretching out the particular region here um, but what we can do is you see this transient marker right here if we want we can take you notice the tool changes if it's halfway above the track it'll turn into one little line if it's halfway below it turns into three little lines Three lines, what it does is it creates basically a section here that won't affect anything outside here or anything outside of here. So if I select that and move it, you'll see it's just moving stuff on the inside there. But if we don't want it to even move that much stuff, what we could do is, let's undo that. We could just click on this one right here and pretty much select where we want the regions to move from so it doesn't affect this or this. Okay, now I can click and drag this over and I haven't affected anything outside of this little region here. So let's come uh, let's come over here to this next one. I believe, yeah, that's the next one. It's still a little behind too. So we'll put a click a line there, click a line there, click on this one that's already on the transient and just drag that over. Let's come over here to this next snare. Okay, let's take that one. Let's click a little line right there. Click on right here and click on here. Boom, all right. And let's see this last snare right there. Okay. I'm going to click here, click here, and click here. Drag that over. Now let's take a listen and see how everything sounds. Okay, so you can kind of hear there's still a little bit of an artifact sound on some of these drums here. And what that is is because we've actually stretched it um, this region right here. So what I'm going to do is select right here and get rid of this marker here. I'm going to select this one over here and get rid of this marker. You'll notice there's a little X up above. And I'm going to come over here, select this one, and do the same over here. So what this is going to do is actually make it not stretch out as far 
from the original sample. So this should help how everything sounds. <laughs> Okay, so we're not 100% perfect, but we are really close. And if you hear the before, definitely tell that the snare drum is not in time with the tempo of the track. So what we're gonna do is we'll turn that back on, play it again. Okay, so yeah, that's just one quick, easy way to quantize some audio and logic. So if you guys got any value out of this, I really appreciate it. If you'd hit the subscribe button, hit the like, and please drop a comment below if you have any more questions about anything. I'd be happy to do some videos for you. So until next time, we'll see you around. Peace and love.